Good day to you, travellers. We've been expecting you now that the path is open once more. I hope you've brought your bravest and your best, for they're going to be sorely tested. In fact, they just won't believe what's waiting for them. But why wait? Please, step inside, if you dare. Let the fire burn low, and if it should burn out, you wouldn't believe what would crawl in here and make itself comfortable. Pickle! Where are you, you pesky elf? Here, master. Sorry, but I was miles away. About four miles away and about twelve months ago, to be exact. I was just re-experiencing some of last season's adventure. Well, you're late. The season has begun, and the watchers are already with us. Oh, so they are. I must admit, I can't get used to the way they all cram in here. Greetings, adventurers. Well, if they're here, then the first challenger can't be far behind. Exactly. Not behind at all, but before the threshold. So, enter, stranger. Hmm, all dressed alike, master. Must be the B team. <clears throat> right, Catherine, you, you in a room and there's two tables. One... Open the box, open the box. Open the box. Open the box. Right, gotcha! Get out, rock! Leave him! Leave him aside! Chloe, yeah, you can stay where you are! Ow! Ow! What was that, mate? The blattering little pixie, I think. Come out here and fight, you little pixie. I'll get you. Don't you worry about it. Ow! 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Typical, typical, flaming human, that is. Typical flaming humans. Perhaps you'd like a taste of my needle, yes? Catherine, apologise to her. I'm very, very sorry. Well, I think I deserve a bit more thanks than that, don't you? Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> all right, all right, you don't need to gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. <laughs> I don't like goblin masters. Nasty, great subhumans. Not that I like humans much. Clumsy great clad uppers, stupid great beef fancies. Now, if there was going to be some more fun like that last bit, I could stick around. If you want me to, that is. Catherine, say. Otherwise, I'm off. Say so you think fairies are very, very nice. I think you're very, very nice. Please, could you stay for me? <laughs> all right, all right. But no fright nights. Pixel's little needle doesn't work on metallics. Open the box, then. <laughs> okay. Oh, lovely craftsmanship. Oh, Hippie's got no weapons. Nothing to protect itself with. But, what a pity. But, I'll tell you what, your worshipness. I'll look after all your things. Open the bottle. And then nobody can steal them, yeah? Open the bottle. Mercy, mercy, don't prick me no more, little fairy. Oh, no, oh, 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 get her off, your worshipness. Please get her off. I'm only sly, we'll give you anything you want. Please. What shall I do? Oh, cool, say, say to um, Pixie, um, leave him alone if he. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I could sell you the password for level one. Yeah, that's what I could do. I know it, you know. Did you hear that? There's lots yep. of things Sly does. What shall I do? I agree with him. Say, um, say to oh. Pixel. To Pixel, get in the bottle. Mm. Yeah. What do you want the bottle, the Richard? Close it, Richard. 
Hey, I'm getting out of here. Password Samurai. It is too now. You keep that little thing in that bottle away from me. Oh. <laughs> That unsavory, if not insanitary, fellow was Sylvester Hands, sly to his friends. Well, I'm not sure that he has any. I'm not saying he'll be back, but I don't think Richard should linger. Welcome, watchers. Let me greet you to this... It's home! <laughs> Sorry, master. Just holding the fort. Your dungeon. Thought you weren't going to make it on time. Any more of this behavior, Pickle, and time for you will adopt the permanent status of time out. No. Ben, you're in a clearing. A I hear who? Ryder coming. Now get behind me. You're too vulnerable in that helmet. This way. Yeah, behind me. Tarantara! Hello, hello! Tis bold Sir Hugh to rescue you! Is it the underworld? Oh, heck, master! It's that idiot Sir Hugh de Pinbrain barging in! Witless pickle. Master? No witless is his name, you idiot! Come to think of it, you're both idiots. Look, I don't know who you are or what you think you're doing, but we don't want rescuing, so just clear off. What, no rescuing? Me, but I insist you... Oh, uh, Liddy, Steve. <laughs> damn fine charger there. Damn, oh, a damn fine filly in prospect here, or me name's not the bold Sir Hugh. <laughs> of course, you may, you may call me bold, miss, if you like. Well, enough of the girlish vapours. Now, let's get to the rescuing. Pot. You're not <laughs> listening, Tin Brain. If you so much as touch either of us, you'll have so many feathers sticking out of you, people will think you're a chicken. <laughs> Aye, but she's a feisty piece. Oh, damn me if I don't mm. like your spirit. <laughs> oh, look, these goblins. What? Johnny <laughs> Bud. Oh, oh, no! Is it rescuing? Oh, master! Master, master, you can't do it! Don't worry, Pickle. Teams, you won't come to any real harm. Sir Hugh is spellbound and under a compulsion to go around rescuing people. Still, I think he's got his hands full this time. Now, onward, Steam. There's an adventure to complete. Stop, Ben. OK, where am I? Ben, you're in a room. There's a lattice fencing up above. And there's two doors, one on the left, one on the right. A bench, one on your left side, and there's something on the floor in front, uh, quite a bit in front of you. OK, well, oh, there's a screen. Really, 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 shoo, you can't scare me when I scare you. Who's this? Oh, look. It's the old friend. What's trod in a cow pat and trodden it into the dungeon? Or is it a pig's bladder? Yes. That's what it is. Hello, piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> it's a litre. Notice she needs no special garments, oh. even in this icy place. Hey, What's we... your name, piggy, piggy? Porker, is it? Or no. piglet, perhaps? Or ben. maybe it's Francis Bacon. No, no, no. Ben. Ben? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hum. This squeaker's a speaker. Well, my name is M-Y-O-B-S, which stands for... Mind your own business, scumbag! <coughs> What's Elita doing in level three, Master? Hey, should we give her the emerald? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Well, yes. What Oscar's... are we doing here? Ask her if she oh, wants piggy. it. Do you, do you want this green stone? Oh, I'd love a green stone. Ben, are you looking for something? Would you give us some information if we gave it to you? Or, or magic. Or, else. or magic. Or, or magic. Else? I don't think I've really got anything to offer you. Oh, well, you won't get this then. Um... How about you hand over the green stone to me and I'll think what I've got to give you in return. No. No, no so not until you tell us what you're going to give you. What, we, what <gasps> you're going to give us. I don't think I've got anything you're looking for. You sure? Well, you give me an idea of the sort of thing you might need and I might hand it over. Something hot. Something, something hot. hot. Something, Some, hot. Th something very hot. Or a bone. Or a bone. No, or a bone. Or a bone. anything hot. Or a bone. I might know where there's a bone if you hand the green stone over. Shall we then? Mm. Shall we hand it over? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Okay, Go on. tell us where the bone is then. Oh, no. Here you go then, face ache. <laughs> is this is what you're looking for? Take it, Ben. 
Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Have you got any pork magic, Piggy? No. No. Well, I think you'd better get some, or old Icy Knickers is going to freeze your bacon. All right. Give me a handy pandy, Piggy, and let's trot. Or is that? Give me a trotter and let's walk. Oof. Right. Well, why do you bed. humans have to smell so strongly? Yeah, turn slightly to your right. Slightly to your left. Slightly to your left. Stop. Right. Walk forward. Walk forward. One step. Two steps. Another. Carry on then. Stop. Stop. Come on. There's another circle. Pass that again. Quick. Walk forward. Walk forward. Stop. 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 Side step to your left. Left. Left bend. To your left. Quick. And again. Right. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. You're landing on a circle now. Right, carry on. Walk carry on, forward. walking forward. Keep carry walking forward. Keep walking can. forward. Yes, yes. 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 Dan team. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Well done, Ben. I think we've got something to exchange. <laughs> well, congratulations, team. <laughs> Three to one pickle. And one in the eye for the opposition master. <laughs> well, there's only one thing for it. Spellcasting heroes. H-E-R-O-E-S. Oh, oh, it's a lovely dungeon here. Oh, it's got some nice clothes. Lovely colours. Oh, but it's got nothing to protect itself. Jenna, go careful. Oh, what a pity. Oh, here. And there's a lovely little boxy. Let Sylvester have a quick look at it then, eh? Yo. Oh. Oh. Shut the door! Shut the door! You fall in a barn, big fat! Oh! Oh! There's a lovely little person in it. Oh! Mmm! Sylvester takes it to Mount Fear and sells it. Gets lots of gold. Yeah! You not shut door, then pigs will come up! What is Mount Fear? Pigs will not like Mount Fear! Pigs will not like big smelling big fat! Oh, 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 it's got a nasty weapon, it is. Oh, 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 I'm out of here. Fright night's coming. Goblin's in the corridor. Drop the spyglass. Drop it, I said. Wake up, pickle. I said, wake up. What? Oh, sorry, master. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Terrible dream. We were guiding this quest. And I turned around, and in the chair instead of you, it was the opposition. Really? Mm. Sometimes I wish I were the opposition. Mm. Well, at least I'd be winning, idiot elf. Mm. Now, come on, get moving. The boys are waiting, and the watchers need updating. Sorry, Lord Fear. I mean, Master, only joking. Mm, master, that's a spyglass. Well, I've got to say it, I don't think it's a good idea to use a spyglass on the opposition. He's got spies in the back of his head, if you know what I mean. No one knows what you mean, Pickle. It's because you're elvish, I suppose. Sometimes I don't even think you know what you mean. Don't let him worry you, team. There is a risk in using the spyglass. The longer you look through it, the more likely it is the opposition will know what you're doing. Even so, it's the only way to get the jump on him. <laughs> Tell me, whilst you've been having this adventure, do you sometimes get the feeling that someone's watching you? There. You see what I mean? Anyway. Oh, oh, he's a lovely dungeon here. Oh, he's got some lovely things. Nice shoes. Let me see him in the light. Oh, his name. Lovely, lovely quality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got nothing to protect itself with. No weapons. No. Here, I'll tell you what. How about if Sylvester, that's me, I'll be your friend, and I can carry all your lovely things for you. Have that done with me. Tell him that you've got something got... to give to him, you know. What, okay. What's your surname? Hands. Sylvester Hands. You know, hands like feet, but the other end of your body. <laughs> okay. You like that? Okay. Yeah. So, um, do you want to... have got a book on literature. Give him an exchange okay. or something. Give him, tell him about the book. Yeah, who's it from? It's from... Audrey's. Yeah, Audrey's. Audrey's. Um, I have a book for you. From yeah. Audrey's. Yeah, from Holdress. Who? Holdress. Holdress? 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 Oh. Oh, I can't read. Ain't got anything else? 
No, it's important that you have this book. Oh, well, let's have a look at it. Let's get it. It's lovely quality. Yep. Oh, oh, it's got nice pictures in it. Oh, another look. Yes. Oh, I like looking at writing. I don't understand it, but I like looking at it. Oh, yeah. Is that oh, a book? Nice. No, oh, what's that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's... Master, that isn't very nice. It's Turning good. somebody like Sylvester Hands isn't very nice into a hobgoblin. <laughs> I don't suppose it's permanent pickle. I don't doubt he did something to deserve it. Anyway, Hordris seems to have solved our immediate problems. Huh? Oh, Harry, oh, 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 sound oh, like oh, goblins. Okay, right. They must have picked up Alex's trail again. Do you wish to try again? Once more, then. Open wide. Say, ah. No, it's no use. You have quite simply lost your voice. No doubt the opposition has purloined it for purposes of his own. Who knows? Perhaps because you know too much of his traps and tricks. Despite one's arcane powers, one can do nothing for you. Wait. There's a dungeon here. Perhaps he could be the answer to your problem. Oh, come, come, that's most uncharitable. And physically quite improbable. Dungeoneer, give one your name, if you would, and perhaps the purpose of your journey. Alex. Alex. Quest for the cup. And the purpose of your journey? Um, the quest for the cup. Quest for the cup. Master, if that cavern brat Alita really has lost her voice, it's the best thing that's happened under the horizon since Why, Christmas. Careful. Maybe this time the opposition's done a bit of good. Quiet, Pickle. If he heard you say that, he'd turn really nasty. Or perhaps I should say, nastier. A young traveller. One would not, of course, attempt to influence you in this matter, but one might suggest that the recovery of this young uh, lady's voice may well benefit your interests. If you should chance to encounter upon it in your travels, I will give you a small charm to capture it. It is called Bag. Thereafter, you simply use the young madam's, young lady's calling name, which is, of course, Elita. Yes, yes, one knows all about you not liking your real name being bandied about, but this is an emergency. Now, wish young Alex here good luck. Yes, well, that's uh, sort of elvish for good luck, you know. Farewell. Miss okay. Elita, a word with you. They both... The alarm master! The opposition's tracked them! Oh, good grief! Look, Lord Fear has frozen Christopher! No, no, no. Get a grip, Pickle. It's not the opposition, but our old enemy, Temporal Disruption, who's to blame for this uh, interruption. But the... Now, calm down. You'll frighten the Watchers. Yeah, you have frightened them. Hey, you lot! Don't forget to join us for the resumption of hostilities! Bah! They've gone! Yes, so step oh, sure. I'm There's someone in there with you, Chris. Right. Gotcha. Allow me to introduce myself. Scarkill's the name. Goblin master by profession. Bounty hunter by trade. And yes, you've guessed it. You're my wages. Now stand still, because there's no hope of escape. Stand still while I get the irons on you. <laughs> Lovely. Chris, yeah. try giving him the gem. I'll give you, I'll give you the gem. Give me a gem, eh? Bribery, you're trying on scar kill, is it? And what would make you think I'm susceptible to bribery, eh? Let me have a look at it. Come on, give it me, give it me. Special. Hey, now that's a very fine gem, isn't it? But I'm afraid it's not enough. What else you got? Give him some honey. Honey. Now, oh, that's mate. lucky for you because I've got a very sweet tooth, exactly like my nature. So let me have honey, eh? Give me the honey. Come on, what give, about me the, give me the honey. Go on. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I like honey. Oh, yes, I can just imagine myself eating this. Oh, look, here, what's going on there? Hey, stop, get off, what is it? Let's do bees, get away from it. I like bees, go on, ah, get off, ow. Oh, well, a victory for our side for the moment, but it's always dangerous when the opposition is stung into action. Where are I? 
You're in a courtyard and there's a wall on the other side and there's a door in front of you. The wall's turned into a face. Password. It's not, it's not going to be the same one. No, this one. This blue, green, and green. Yeah. Oh, no. It's the only one we know. All right, Chris? Yeah? Try red, blue, green, and grey. Red, green, blue, and grey? Oh, no, Chris. No. What? Red, red blue. blue. Oh, nasty. Quite the right path, but the choice is yours. Duncan, can you walk forward, please? So let's go down. Yes, please. My right, Duncan, turn quickly to your right, quickly. Oh, nasty. Oh, gee, you missed your station, and now Duncan is missing parts of his body. A definite case of done and can, Master. Yes, and there's only one certain way to put him back together. Spellcasting. D-I-S-M-I-S-S. Stop, Kelly. Kelly, you're in a room and there's something lying on the floor and there's a blue fire to your right. Can we direct to the fire first? Well, if you're moving, so it's on the floor. Yeah. Um, so which way? Kelly, can, can you move forward, please? I'm so sorry. Okay, and stop. And sidestep to your left. Thank you. Move well, forward again. Maybe if we get to walk up to it, and then she can tell us what Keep going, is. Kelly. Keep going. Okay, stop. What, do you know what's on the floor, Kelly? Sort of a red carpet with, with a spyglass and a cushion. Okay, um, can you pick the spyglass up? <laughs> Walk forward towards it. Okay, stop. Um, can you pick it up? Well, you put the book down, Kelly. Book and the gold. Right there. Okay. Okay. Can you, is there any? There's nothing else. I Sandra, how can I make myself clear? We are running out of time. Have you been charged? Ready or not? Why is it that women never understand for this? Well... Don't fret so, my lord. Your gift was everything I expected. The ritual has been long and excessively tiring. But I have the spell. Before the final phase shift, I will freeze all levels of the dungeon and those zones which contain them. The nasty little dungeoneer Kelly will be trapped forever. Good. Tell me, my lady, why is your dislike so personal? Don't be so foolish, my lord. She's a blonde, isn't she? Ah, good. Well, let us not delay any longer. I gather it will take a couple of minutes, so please commence the incantation. And please, leave Mount Fear out of your plans. You might relish the cold. I do not. Mm. Master! What's happening? What's going on? Stand up. A last desperate bid by the opposition people. This team is undefeated. But Lord Fear has boosted Isandra's power in an attempt to freeze the underworld and trap Kelly below ground before this phase of the dungeon ends. Quickly, Kelly, you must temper the staff and summon Hordris. He's the only one who can help you escape. Kelly, walk forward. Okay, uh, stop. Can you turn to nine o'clock, please? No. Yes. Can, can you take the staff off now? Or is it off? And hold it forward. Hold, walk forward, Kelly, holding it forward. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Kelly, stop. And we say, right. we say manifact three times. Manifact, manifact, manifact. 
One moves with grace and speed. Thank you, Kenny. I'll take that. No time for explanations. One is, of course, aware of the imminent dangers. Now, there is but one portal that can get us back safely, and it is close at hand. So now, follow me. Hurry, Kelly, quickly to the door! Would see to hoard his pickle, I'm afraid his legs aren't as young as Kelly's. There, you can go and join your friends. Lord Fear! Lord Fear, can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. Pray God, you sanctimonious dungeon master. Never trust a woman to do anything. It's like an ice cube in here. But Lord Fear, we really must protest about this infringement of the rules. This is not playing fair. Oh, really? Oh, how awful of me. And how stupid you are, Pray God. Winning isn't about playing fair. It's about winning. That's why we, the opposition, are so good at it. Well, let me warn you. When the next phase of the dungeon begins, and your dungeoneers are questing through the levels, we'll be waiting for them. And not one of them will get through. Master, we just can't let him get away with this. It's not up to us, Pickle. It's up to them. Well, you lot. Are you going to let him scare you off? Or are some of you brave enough to pick up the gauntlet? We'll be waiting for your answer. Don't keep us waiting too long, will you? <laughs>